Hey guys, this is Cosmo and welcome back to Snow Runner. Now, today we will be uh, exploring Alaska some more. Uh, we are still on path to getting all the upgrades and trucks from it, but that's, you know, taking its time just because apparently these maps are really pretty big and kind of tough to navigate. Uh, we will be doing the tasks we find along the way, like uh, getting this uh, abandoned supplies here, uh, doing that and getting it to the polar station up here. We'll be accepting these tasks, but more importantly, we'll be heading up here and getting that upgrade. With that being said, let's uh, head out. We have switched over to a new truck, which uh, for the fans of the series will probably be a surprise. Well, not if you watched the last episode, I guess. But uh, we are giving the Caterpillar uh, CT680 yep, uh, a fair shake. Uh, so far, my impressions of the truck, truck is that it's fast, faster than uh, the Fleet Star for sure. Equally as capable. Uh, I'm not sure how much it, it will matter, the point that it doesn't have a raised suspension, it only has a standard stock suspension. But given it has uh, bigger tires stock than uh, the Fleet Star has upgraded uh, with this, uh, raised suspension, it just uh, kind of makes the point a bit moot, I guess. I mean, sure, suspension matters in you know these kinds of situations where you don't want to be dragging under you the entirety of all the mud and muck. Not sure how much effect that has on the game itself, but it's still something. But we are giving this a fair shake and seeing if uh, it handles uh, any significantly differently than uh, we may want it to. Now, while I was talking, I'm, I figured out I have no idea why I'm going this way. This is a terribly, terribly mucky area. Why am I even going through here? Huh. I guess that's a good way. And for sure, on the return path, we'll probably try a different thing. Either way, we are close enough to trees, so let's use them. Absolutely, positively, always a bad option. And of course, that is a curtain side trailer, so long and tall trailer. Just the way we like them. Let's uh, slowly and carefully make our way through here. Avoid any evil rocks because evil rocks are evil. What we don't have on this, oh, actually, we do. We do have a short race stack, so that will be fine. So, the way back that we wanted to do is probably something like this. Still try to stay close to the tree line. We'll probably need to winch ourselves off. Let's uh, turn around as much as we can. Which apparently isn't much. I mean, can we? 
you know, at this point, I think it's a better option for us to just uh, just go through this. I mean, we're already here, and this is a whole lot more to navigate. So yeah, let's uh, let's do this. You'll excuse me if I switch over to daytime, just because I kind of want to see where, what I'm driving through. And more specifically, if I have the winch on or not, apparently. Okay, on. Low range. High differential lock on. Okay, low differential lock on. Uh, okay, low minus. Let's stick with this because we will be carrying a load, but let's not. Uh, Take it up just yet. Let's um, get ourselves onto some solid ground. Uh, okay. Hopefully, getting ourselves onto some solid ground. I don't know what I'm catching on here, but I'm sure it's something. And we are entirely out of. Uh, winch ourselves to this. Let's get this closer. And let's not tie this to ourselves just yet. Let's drop that. Let's climb this. We still need to get ourselves onto a solid piece of ground. One that's slightly, slightly near some tree lines. Mm, this is this is actually concerning. There we go. Finally, although the angle is making some parts of my of myself pucker up. But, okay, I guess we're fine, but I have a very vague feeling we are entirely, yeah, out of range for that. So let's see if we can get in range without falling right back into the water. Okay, something like that, although for utter sure we'll be... That was perfect. We'll be dragged into it. I kind of wish that the game would not automatically put a handbrake on, I guess, when we're towing, or is that just me? I don't know. I, I've just been in situations where I I am sure I don't have the hard handbrake on, but apparently I do, and that's way too often for me to just, you know, make a mistake. Okay, we will not be attaching this to us, or oh, maybe we should. Hmm. Okay. Of course, we will barely be able to pull this out. Yep, there we go. Same stuck problem. But at the very least, we have trees. Wow. Okay, handbrake off. I'm pretty sure this is a problem of. I got it. I understand. I actually fully understand what the problem is here. Uh, basically, this is too steep, and it's just catching the wheels wrong there. So what we will be doing is trying to position ourselves better. Like somewhere here. Hold on, I'm sure that's further than we can winch. Come on. And the more I play, the more I'm starting to get annoyed with the uh, gear switching. I wish there were like a better option than just using a mouse, but oh well. Let's 
try pulling it right through those two things. There we go. And then, leaving it with us through here. Let's double check if that's the actual destination for it. I don't want to drag it to where it won't be needed. Uh, abandoned supplies, right? Yeah. And yep, we have to take it to the polar base. Well, I'm not sure how forward this is because this is still Alaska and I don't think we're that far north. But still. that maybe just maybe it's a smarter option to winch trailers instead of actually uh, carry them attached uh, when you're going through like these uh, bad areas the reason for that is that you can you know use the slack sometimes so you can pull it closer when you just need uh, when you just want it to get out of a bad spot instead of just doing uh, to add your wheel power or engine power to the winch's power so you'll actually get more power to pull something through a rough area which otherwise you may just end up being uh, completely uh, stuck Attach it now because we are out of danger. Let's accept all of these. Plus two. Hello, name is Robert. A big fancy new pipeline is being built in the area. One of the subcontractors operating logistics has lost a section of pipe. We need a driver which can assist with the recovery. I guess that will be me. I have no idea what pipe, what location, and what driver, but I'm pretty sure that the details in my map would help me figure that out. the delivery right here excellent job our work can continue without interruption now much appreciated you are very welcome random dude but while we are here at whatever polar base I guess this is let's also accept this quest your skills come highly recommended. Our scientists have spotted an abandoned radio station, but the path is quite treacherous. Can you find a safe route up there? Okay, I guess we can. But before all of that, let's uh, get what we actually came out here from for this upgrade, which is far away from any practicable road apparently. Uh, I'll try avoiding the forested area. I don't want to bother with that. And uh, I think the best way to get up here would be straight through here. I mean, this is not exactly the straightest route up because you'll uh, crest multiple peaks. But uh, I don't see any other option minus just bogging with trees. And I don't really bog around with trees. Sure enough, maybe a true off road truck would do better here, uh, as well or and maybe a scout. But you know what? We've been so successful with heavy trucks in general, or most everything we've done in the game. Uh, the off road trucks have, well, base driver at least has uh, not often had the power we want from it. Um, and the heavy trucks like the P12 just don't do off-road well at all just because of how big they are and how poorly they uh, the geometry is in regards to dealing with uh, obstructions but by the way oh wow 
we're already having problem and we're not even halfway up, not even starting to go up. Yeesh. Okay, let's uh, stick to high low gear, let's get close. Might as well give this uh, a fair shake. The way I actually manage, because maybe some people are asking, the way I actually manage uh, the low gear, for example, when I'm doing this kind of off-road is, I want to, if I'm seeing I'm going really slow, I, I turn it down, right? If, I just want to see if I'm going slow because of the gear I'm in, or, or because of the terrain. If I'm going it because of the terrain, I just uh, drop it down until the point where uh, I'm fast again. Well, until the point where I get better grip on the ground, more to it. Yeah, okay, let's be careful here, because I don't want to go, that would be instant tipping land. So let's uh, see if we can go like this, there we go. Again, climbing these peaks is probably a bad idea. I should probably... Oh, we already are over it, that's lower. Right, okay, cool. I kind of thought it'd be higher up on the mountain, but apparently it's not. Ooh, easy there, big boy. There we go. Quite fantastic, well done. Okay, this is... Uh, at HV62, okay, this is the upgrade for the Hummer. I think this is the top engine upgrade for the Hummer, actually. Uh, yeah, I guess maybe it's time to fully upgrade the the Chevrolet. Even the, if nothing else, I have a much stronger engine in a better chassis. But that's when we return back to the garage. For the moment, let's continue on. Uh, we still have a lot to do here. Uh, might as well get this lost service trailer and leave it here. It's exactly here, here. Might as well do it if we're in the area. Let's be helpful and a good neighbor. But to do that, we will uh, need to get off this mountain. Let's see what options we have to get out of this mountain in one piece without flipping the truck about 82 times. Uh, not much, I guess. The thing is, I'd rather go. Yeah, I'd rather go straight down. Hmm. Okay, would this be a better option altogether? Ooh, I was falling. That, that was scary. Yeah, no, that's not an option. That's not even a, a that's not even an option, let alone a good option. Okay, let's ignore the map. Let's just uh, eyeball it as much as we can. The thing is, if you go down that very forested path, you'll have a huge problem uh, because if you end up stuck in, on a tree, it doesn't matter if you end up down there, but if you end up uh, on a tree, you it's going to be hard slash impossible especially if you're tipped over and you do not have a scout autonomous scout winch to get you uh, back on your feet so let's uh, try and get up here let's do a left here okay perfect let's take it easy okay that was great doesn't really help us much, does it? I think it might be smarter just to come back down through where we come came here, but yeah, not, I think that's exactly what we're doing. Let's uh, reverse with the differential lock. I don't think we need that beeping on the mountain, do we?
Okay. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. That's bad. Good. Perfection. like a solid way to get down and break on uh, I kind of don't want to go through these two trees because I'm not sure whether I'll get stuck in them or not and there we go that's how you climb a mountain in a heavy truck let's uh, actually let's switch with the let's stay with the um, low plus Use the back door over here. Also, I kind of wish the quick winch would use like a cone instead of like it does use what's what where are you looking at? It's going by via the closest tree, but that's the width of where it's looking it's very wide it's like i know 180 degrees or something it's a lot sometimes it's big trees that are like you know exactly to the right of me i kind of wish the cone would be a bit uh, more squeezed together so i could uh, you know just more or less pinpoint where i want to i don't know hell just put me a cross here give me a cross here so i can insta winch that'd be nice Way. Let's see if we can get this moving along. Gently knock over their fences. And there we go. That's how you do it. Uh, let's pick up... Uh, Refueling trailer. And let's refuel. And let's head out and get that guy. That lost service trailer. Which honestly I think should be something like this as an access point. Don't need to get super close. Oh, we didn't accept this. Oh yeah, this is what we're doing right now. Our factory has lost the trailer. This is real bad news. The cargo has the potential to cause some pretty nasty damage to the environment, so we need to found and retrieve ASAP. Can you do it? Of course I can do it. liking this uh, cat but uh, I'm not sure there is in my mind at the moment without any real upgrades to it like the engine uh, much difference between it and the pace star and the fleet star I kind of would want uh, you know, a significant boost and you know, some stat for me to actually go like yep this is my next uh, heavy truck which I'm gonna use for mostly everything still found in Alaska. I think we've uh, got all the upgrades in this map, so I, after I'm doing this service trailer, unless there's something in arm's reach, I think uh, I'll be taking this cat over to um, 
the next map, the next uh, Alaska map. Now, hmm, how are we going to be doing this? I think it would be wise. Hmm. I was thinking of going up here rear ended, but uh, probably not. The big issue here will actually be guiding it down. So it doesn't get stuck in the trees. Okay, these are knockable over trees, so you can pull it through. It shouldn't be that huge of an issue. Because these two trees on the right are solid enough. Let's uh, stop this for a second. Let's see if we have a point. Yes, we do. Nope, not enough. It doesn't connect and it's exactly at the edge. It means you just, just need to go a tiny wee bit forward. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where is that going? And why don't I have... Can't I select that uh, hitch point as an anchor? Well, it doesn't really matter at this point, I'm already <laughs> here. And yeah, some quests have like these double mission exception areas, which just seems uh, in a stark contrast. Of course, I can't attach it. It's way too far. Let's just grab this. Wow, it's a good thing I had that winched. There we go. That's our attached trailer. Head down here. Perfection. Okay, these trees are being too solid for their own good. But thankfully, one of their own betrayed them. Just to know why I'm going so slow, or literally barreling downhill with uh, in a huge truck, the huge trailer attached to me. Switch bottle, maybe that's it. No, I didn't think so. Just connect to that, please. That's what I want, not the little tree to the left of me. And there we go. That's one saved service trailer.
be fair, Alaska has been going decently well, decently fast. Um, not sure about the other maps. Uh, I mean, this is still the first map, and we had a lot of uh, uh, features like you know, trailer parkings and um, gas stations and well, the garage itself, I, which helps us keep a nice um, a steady pace, but that will probably slow way down the moment we um, start to hit on those uh, far off areas. Okay, so where do I deliver this? Is it uh, this spot? There we go. I wish I could say that this was a rare incident, but with rain like this, it happens a lot more than I would like. Drivers need to be more careful. Thanks for taking care of this. I have no idea what that driver was doing with that trailer up there, but sure. Okay, let's check out the map. Uh, where are we? We are here. So let's uh, head all the way back. Let's uh, refuel and head out. Again, I'm not sure where the other access point is. I've looked around the map a bit, but I just can't find it. I'm entirely not sure where that is, so uh, let's just use the one we have. Well, it would be nice if you could also repair, so yeah, let's do that. Let's get ourselves uh, a trailer and do a refuel and a repair. There we go. Also, can I get a fuel carrier on this? Yeah, I have absolutely no idea. Uh, some trucks apparently can carry a fuel carrier, some trucks can't. Uh, I don't know what's the difference and some trader stores have some traders other trader stores don't have some traders it's really utterly confusing for me uh, I don't know stuck around for uh, chain tires until I entered Alaska. Given the what very little I played with the Hummer and so I just getting over the place. I'm uh, kind of glad that uh, we have uh, these options already available. Wow. Just smacked right through that didn't we? whatever the next map may, may be. As uh, a map, I didn't find you know, this first map to be very hard. It was actually fine didn't tip over, only had like one or two minor incidents where I would, you know, was like, oh crap. So uh, we'll see for the next ones. Oh, wow, we can't. Huh. Interesting. 
that would open us up to something something valley white valley right yeah uh okay that you know that's not what i wanted to do but sure huh so we need to unlock it right dispose the old junk Okay, so what do we need to do to unlock the next map? Okay, this needs to get some tool. Okay, so we have Pedro Bay, so it's not that. Is it something else? Right, um, oh, and that's the other, the other uh, location, Mountain, Mountain River. Discover Mountain River. Okay, so... Hmm. Let's, uh... Maybe that one's open, maybe this one is closed. Let's check out uh, Mountain River. Maybe that one's opened. Let's, uh, let's just check it out. We'll see if um, if indeed both of those areas are locked. Hmm. I'm not super sure what all I want to be doing after that. If I want to really start opening up a lot of Alaska, I mean, unlocking, going down contract lists just to unlock a new area in Alaska. But we'll see. I kind of hoped all the areas would be pre-unlocked. I don't know why I thought they wouldn't be. I mean, with... I've seen one of some of those, you know, access to locations markers on quests, but they never. I don't think I remember them ever unlocking entire areas, right? And for Michigan, we never had that problem. We literally just. Uh, I think always had them available, or maybe we just progressed in a way in which, uh, of course, they were unlocked by the time we went there. That's uh, also entirely possible. Oh, okay. So Mountain River is available for us to uh, to explore. Cool. In any case, on that note, I think that's this is a good uh, stopping point for today. So, uh, guys, if you like uh, this episode, please uh, like the video, uh, subscribe to my channel, share it, or comment down below. Uh, ooh, this is Palma. And comment down below. <laughs> um, tell me what you like about it, what you don't like about it, what you like changed, and how poorly I'm actually playing a snow runner compared to uh, how I should be playing it. In any case, this was Cosmo Tech. Thank you for watching my uh, showrunner series and we'll continue on straight from here on next time.